For a country that lived under authoritarianism for so long, Tunisians have adapted quickly to elections. The first round of the presidential election was the latest step in the country's political transition. While the vote was overwhelmingly peaceful, it wasn't perfect. Election watchdogs condemned several instances of violence between supporters of different candidates. Supporters driven violence when uh, the supporters or those who sympathize with the candidates, they, um, they didn't really control themselves and um, they fell in this trap of uh, verbal violence and then the second phase was um, unfortunately physical violence. Another concerning issue are allegations from various sides of widespread vote buying. I mean, one of the more consistent complaints that we've heard deals with this issue of vote buying. Um, and it's a difficult thing to prove. Uh, it's a difficult thing to prosecute, largely because there re requires evidence that oftentimes is not present. These issues are relatively minor and easy. Tunisia's electoral body is building up experience with how to hold an efficient and transparent election. Vote counting is underway and already they're announcing some of the preliminary results for the overseas polling stations. For Tunisia, all of the results are expected within the next two or three days. You, you know, we, we use the three methods. One is the mobile and we have the, the real-time transfer of data from the uh, polling stations to the center here. And we use the other one, it is uh, the electronic using the web uh, and of course our web about uh, uh, local applications from the different telecenter. And the third uh, method, it is, uh, the electro it is the manual method. Overall, all sides in Tunisia's sometimes tense political landscape are proving that they are willing to play by the new democratic rules. Yasmin Ryan, CCTV, Tunis.